just realized guys I have never filmed a video about drawing dates and drawing dates are my new favorite thing or at least they are since I moved to London the thing is when you meet someone new sometimes you need an excuse sometimes you need something to do while you're meeting this person something in common some interest some activity so you go to the movies or you go out for a dinner you go to a museum you go to the botanical garden etc etc you need something to do and drawing for me is the perfect thing for breaking the ice. So my friend Jen and I went the other day to the Tate Britain Museum and to be honest guys I have never been to the Tate Britain before and now it's one of my favorite museums ever and it was a super important occasion for me as well because it was the first time that I met Ophelia finally. I wanted to see this painting in person for a while now guys but it was a super nice experience because Jen she at least not that I'm aware of she doesn't illustrate she not she doesn't draw so she went with me to the museum to basically write she needed inspiration and I needed as well and it was super nice to just chill and she was writing and I was drawing and it's it's such a great thing to go out with someone and not having the pressure to move faster or draw faster or anything. So um, I actually wrote a blog post about how to go out and draw with someone and I will leave it down below in case you want to check out my advices in order to know what to do when you go out and draw. I usually meet for coffee and cake uh, with my friends and draw basically all afternoon. It's one of my favorite things to do because sometimes I need someone who is pushing me to draw. But drawing dates, guys, are the perfect opportunity to, for example, practice, to push your boundaries in terms of illustration, in terms of talking to someone. Um, it's a perfect opportunity also to look and spy other people's sketchbooks which is one of the best things in this world is to look around and go through an entire sketchbook of a fellow illustrator oh my god i love doing that it's such a pleasure for me and also you can try out and exchange art supplies and for example i think the best review one can have is the one a fellow illustrator can give you so for example if my friends have tried new markers or pens the best advice i could give or reviews are from them because they're they are the ones who are using them and i think that's it guys i know this was a very very short video but i really wanted to talk about drawing dates because i think they are super 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 important um, illustrators and artists in general we tend to be kind of isolated of, uh, from other humans <laughs> I mean I love working on my own and being solo most of the times but I kind of miss seeing people every now and then and I think it's such a good opportunity to get inspired from other people. You can for example talk of the projects you're working on, the fears you have, the problems you have, uh, the anxious things you're going through. I think having a community of people that are doing the same things and enjoying the same things that you also enjoy is super important and thanks to the internet for that thank you so so much to all my patrons and that's it i am going to enjoy my summer day in london uh but i hope you're enjoying this wonderful afternoon or morning wherever you are and i will see you next week guys bye bye